Hello, I'm Hi, Tara from livingonadime.com at Living on a Dime to Grow Rich. Oops, I got that twisted around, didn't I? We are Living on a Dime to Grow Rich at livingonadime.com. Today we are making from our Dining on a Dime cookbook our roast turkey recipe, two ingredient roast turkey on page 251. There's my cute little family. Just love them so much, I could just give them a thousand kisses. <laughs> we, wait a minute, let's see, on that picture here, your head was coming right here to me. And now where is it coming? <gasps> you have grown that much since this year. Oh my goodness, I, just I knew you had grown. I he's getting very tall. Y'all see how much I've grown since the, since the pizza video? Oh man. <laughs> No, so what if did you guys you have seen Dave's Pizza? Well, come we should have gotten the. I think I was. We like, should. I was down to. We'll yes. stand up. I you was down to her shoulders. Yeah. And I outpaced her by like four or five inches. So that was Dave's Pizza mini pizza video that we yeah. did. All right. Today we are making the absolute number one best tasting turkey you will ever eat in your entire life. We have viewer after viewer after viewer who will confirm that. Yes. My children don't know how lucky they are to have a mother who knows how to cook a perfect turkey and they have never had nasty turkey in their entire life. Hmm? I have had nasty turkey. Wasn't well, mine. <laughs> ah! See, it wasn't mine. Whose was it? It's well, then, don't, don't just say, <gasps> don't say that one. Andrea, it's his first bread. time tuning in. Hi, Andrea, Hello. welcome. The bread is right here, raising. Hello okay. everyone. So today we are making homemade turkey. This is literally a two minute recipe guys. A two minute recipe. So you're going to stop for just a minute and let everybody else get on? I'm letting everybody get on. But I got to tell you, I did something a little different. So last night as I was thinking about the show today, I realized Oh, I'm making homemade turkey tomorrow. I have no turkey in my house because I forgot to buy it. She told me this like at 9 p.m. I'm like, do you want me to go to the store? Like, nope. I'm going to go in the morning and see if I can save the turkey. So this will be a good experience to find out if people can save Thanksgiving if they... <laughs> to see if it works. Mike was like, so, let's go down to the deli at the, at the Kroger store and ask them to slice up some turkey. <laughs> no, I think this is the real thing. Okay, so you will see here by my tag, I purchased this turkey today. This is not the price I paid though. The regular price is $1.49 a pound, <coughs> but I got it, stop, for 40, stop. I got it for 47 cents a pound if you buy $25 or more. So, of course, I went and bought $25 worth of groceries, our groceries that we needed for the week. Got my turkey. So you can get your entire turkey dinner, your turkey for 47 cents, and all your turkey dinner for about 25 to 35 bucks, depending on what part of the country you're in. So, that is a good deal. I paid $6 for this turkey. Unfortunately, it's limit one per transaction, so we're gonna have to go back several times and get Jeez, stocked up on some stuff. Jeez, Mike is over next to that store virtually every day. <laughs> we're, I'm gonna have him go buy some things to stock up on, like they've got flour and sugar on sale, and so I'm gonna have him get some of those things to stock up and do it in $25 transactions. So we can get a couple of turkeys to fill in our freezer, because I love turkey. Okay. So, let's get going on this. Dave, come over here to the turkey. Oh, you didn't turn on my little fireplace. Oh, well, they can't see it. We must show them. There, okay. But, but it's off screen. Oh, Oops. all that for nothing. Okay, so the first thing for your turkey is, do as I say and don't do as I do. So I, because I bought my turkey this morning, <laughs> did the quick defrost way. Now, I will say that I don't recommend it doing this way just because it's kind of hard, but, oh, thanks. Get your turkey at least four days before Thanksgiving so that you can thaw it in your refrigerator. Now, if 
you live in a cold climate and you have room in your garage, you can thaw it in the garage as long as your garage stays about 40 degrees. Here in Colorado, that happens all the time. So I do that, but if you don't, just do it in your fridge, okay? All right, so now I'm taking all the wrappings off. Now, I do not recommend washing your turkey, okay? And there's no reason to wash your turkey, but you can come back up for a second, Dave. I am going to drain the juices off, okay? Here, uh, I got it. So, I'm going to drain the juices. I got to get the zoomed out hand. Sorry, Dave. Okay. Drain the juices. Gonna want to bleach your sink, okay? You're gonna want to bleach your sink. You need the camera over there? No. Just washing my hands for a moment, just look handsome and entertain them for just a second while I wash my hands. Okay. Well, can you pull them back? Well, I can turn off these lights and everything would be fine. But well, then the rest of the will look weird. I don't know. So Dave says we're having a lighting malfunction, I guess. Okay. No, it's just the turkey is white. The turkey is white. Well, anyway. Okay, so then pull out your neck and your giblets, okay? What's the matter? <laughs> just kidding. What did you do? You just said pull out your neck and I was thinking. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I pulled out my neck and I pulled out my giblets, okay? Then... <clears throat> Well, I don't want to make a bunch of clanky, but then you're going to put these in your saucepan for your giblet gravy, okay? Now, all you do is take a stick of butter and stick it in the back end here. Whoops, wait a minute. I think my back end is on the wrong end. Ah, I am using my dairy free because dairy gives me headaches so I want to eat it because I love turkey see the cavity right there yep can you see that yep just throw your salted stick of butter in then you're gonna take the turkey breast now you can tell it's the breast because see how it makes a little heart shape that's how you know it's the breast see how it makes a little heart so flip it over so the breast is down because then all that yummy goodness of butter and juices goes into the breast and makes the turkey breast, which is usually the driest part of the turkey, very, very moist, okay? Then, you are going to take your aluminum foil which I don't think I have enough of. Oh, no, I don't. Oops. Okay. <laughs> then you're gonna take... I'm sure this will work. <laughs> Do you, you see my there? aluminum foil, dear? Take <laughs> your aluminum foil. <laughs> Do we have some in the emergency stash? And you're gonna cover your turkey. Let me see if I have another foil here. <laughs> okay. I have another foil. Okay, so you're going to take your foil. And you're going to tightly crimp it around the edges. Just like so. Okay. That's a large piece of aluminum foil. Yes. And a noisy one, too. And I use... Okay, come back up to me, Dave. I use the disposable pans for Thanksgiving. Why have more dishes than you need to, okay? Now, make sure sometimes the middle seam, you'll need to put one more foil to make sure it's got a really good, tight seal. Then, you're going to take this puppy and you're going to put it in the oven at 250 degrees for one hour 
and 200 degrees, you're gonna turn it down after one hour to 200 degrees for 10 to 14 hours depending on the size of your turkey. If it's a small turkey, what I will do, let's say we're eating like today, I threw it in the oven, I turned it on 350 and then turned it down, okay? Now, let's say you go to bed at 10 o'clock, put it in the oven, the next morning your house is gonna be smelling divine. But you're not gonna eat till five o'clock in the afternoon. Do not panic, do not panic. All you have to do is take all your turkey off of the turkey and then put it on your, uh, put it in like a casserole dish or something and pour some of the turkey juice over it, put foil over the top. You can either leave it in the oven on low on 170 or you could put it in the fridge and then put it in the oven and put it on 350 and warm it for about 25, 20 to 25 minutes or so till it's warmed through for Thanksgiving dinner and it's that simple. So then through the magic of television, <laughs> after you are done, I'm going to show you how it works. Can you give me a plate, Dave? You don't need to have a small one. Okay. Now, once again, guys, dining, what's the number? Dining on a Dime Cookbook, okay, page 251 if you want this recipe, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your turkey. Is that out of the oven? Woo! Oh, look at that baby. Let me zoom in. Sure. All right. Is this smelling good, Jonathan? I can't smell it. Are you hungry? Oh, now I can smell it. I was going <laughs> to say, what do you mean you can't out? smell it? Now, well, that was a fast cooking turkey. Here's how you tell if it's done. Now, if you want to get technical, you can take your thermometer. You can take your thermometer and put it in the thigh and make sure it doesn't touch the bone, okay? Now, you want your turkey to be 165 degrees. Is it 60 or 65? I can't remember. I think 165. Now, every single year, another, well, let me show you. Another way to test, aside from temperature, if you don't have one of these little cool ditty things, thermometers, is, Take your, here, I'm going to stick it on, I showed you guys how to do it. I'm going to stick it on this side so I can read. 100, yep, we're at 180. Okay, so another way to tell is take your fork and just stick it in the side and see if the turkey flakes off. Oh, have mercy. Mm. Oh, that is good. Okay. Who makes the absolute best turkey in the entire world? Mm -hmm. Who makes the best turkey? This is really good. I'm telling you, mom's turkey is yeah, perfect. Yeah, that is good. Thanks, Tanae. Now, this is going to completely fall apart, guys. I'm not telling you this is going to be a carving turkey. We watched <coughs> New Heart last night, and his carving knives would not have worked for this. <laughs> Sandy says, man, I'm hungry now. See how that just falls off? So then what you're going to do Wait, is you're just going to... I gonna, thought these were supposed to fall apart. They are falling apart. So how would a carving knife not work? Because it's falling apart, so there's nothing to carve. Oh, yeah. Because it's such perfect turkey. I guess so, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so then what you do is... Now this is... Oh, man, this is really, really hot. So then you just take your pieces and you put them nicely on your plate, and like I said, guys, just, um, just put this in a casserole dish before Thanksgiving if you don't have time, 
And you could even do it the day before. And here's the thing, when we go to potlucks around Thanksgiving, which we haven't for a while, but when we were doing that, um, I would always volunteer to make the turkey. Why? Because super cheap, this turkey yeah. was six bucks and we're gonna probably get seven or eight meals out of it, at least. Then, I know that the turkey's gonna taste good at whoever's place we're going, but yeah, I'm Look at that here. delicious turkey. I'm turning off over. Okay, lights. Dave's turning off the lights. We gotta get different plates here. Yeah, there you go. Can they see that yummy goodness? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, now you can come back. Dad's gonna taste test. Okay. Jack already said it's yummy, but if Mike doesn't say it's yummy, turn back on the overhead. Okay. I already, I already had this before. I know, but you just have to show him. See, do your mm -hmm. yummy face. <laughs> Except we need the mashed potatoes and the gravy. Oops, careful, that's hot. Yum, is. that's great. Do you want a plate? Do you want some? Here oh, you go. Not right now. Ooh, can I have a bit? Just a small little That bit. is your turkey. Now, here, just take the whole plate for me. Now, the questions about turkeys. Do you stuff your turkey? No, do not stuff your turkey. It is not safe to stuff your turkey. The stuffing usually doesn't get hot enough to be a good, safe cooking temperature. But the next question we always get is, but that's way too low, that's not safe. Yes, it is. As long as your turkey gets up to 165 degrees, it is perfectly safe. And you will know if you don't have a thermometer because your meat is literally flaking off and falling apart. Um, you know, I've eaten this for like nine years now, and uh, I've never died of food, food, food poisoning, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. No self-respecting germ is going to live when you cook it this way. <laughs> Truly, it's not. Okay, guys? So don't worry about that. I even called the health department. They were like, well, yeah, as long as the internal temperature gets up to 165. So, how do you know? Throw a thermometer, a digital thermometer on, or just take your fork, and if it just flakes off. Is that a new turkey pan? It's the yeah. most gigantic pan I've ever seen. If it just flakes off, it's totally done and you don't need to worry about it. It is, it is thoroughly cooked through. Now, the next thing is, um, what do you do if you're like me, and you say, ah, I forgot my turkey. <laughs> thaw it in the sink, okay? You can thaw it in the sink or the bathtub if you need to. Just get a laundry basket or something and put it in the bathtub if you need to. But here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> just take and put medium warm water in there and just change the water every hour, couple of hours and it'll defrost, but here's what I did today, okay? I didn't even do that. I got my turkey at eight o'clock. I came home at nine o'clock. I ran some water on the end to get the giblet packet out that was in plastic. Now, if it's in paper, I would have just left it and thrown it straight in the oven. But here's what I did. Got that packet out, defrosted and pulled, pulled that packet out with some warm water. The turkey was rock solid. This thing was rock solid at nine o'clock this morning. I put it at 350 for two and a half hours and then I turned it down to 250 and it's five o'clock now. And look how yummy and flaky and delicious this is. I mean, seriously, this is like perfect. Uh, it's pretty good. Mm, mm, mm. So, oh, that was a big piece. <laughs> that is how you make the perfect turkey. Literally takes two minutes to make, guys. It really does. This is like one of my favorite meals to make, and I stock my freezer up every time because these turkeys will last that about nine months in the freezer. And I've had people say, well, it's October, and I bought my turkey last November. Is it still good? Listen, try it. You're not gonna get food poisoning. You might get freezer burn taste, 
but you're not going to be out anything but a stick of butter, which is 50 cents, to go ahead and throw this puppy in the oven and see if it tastes good. It probably will. But if it doesn't, you're not out anything but a stick of butter. So, any questions before I go on to our dinner rolls? Uh, a number of them. Jacqueline wants to know how deep is that pan and how much does the turkey weigh? Mm. <laughs> that's a huge pan. That's a lot bigger than we usually use. Oh, sorry. Must okay. Be a new one. Twelve pounds. This is a twelve-pound turkey. And now, the pan if you're is doing about three inches deep, probably. Yeah. Now, if you're doing a twenty-pound turkey, you're gonna want to cook a full fourteen to fifteen hours. If you're doing an eight to ten-pound turkey, you're gonna want to cook eight to ten hours. Really, about one hour per pound is about give or take is about how you want to cook it. Now this pan I got at the thrift store for $1.50. The great big aluminum one, Dollar Tree for a dollar. The only thing is, is make sure you have a deep enough pan because you're going to have tons and tons of juices. Okay. And so let me show you real quick with that to do your giblet gravy. What you do is you pour I've had my giblets in here simmering. Okay. What page is giblet gravy on? Do I know? It is on page 252. Page 252 is the turkey gravy and giblet gravy. Okay. So I've got my giblets in <clears throat> water right here. Okay. Then I'm going to take, oh boy. This could be a YouTube moment if I'm not careful. Uh, don't do it on the pan. Then, what are you trying to do? Don't you pour your your drippings into. Oh man. You can't really see, but it's fine. Don't do okay. 2017 Thanksgiving. Place. There. Hi. <laughs> then <Remember> you <laughs> pour your. No fire this year so yeah. far. <laughs> you pour your turkey drippings into your giblets, okay? Then you're going to take your cornstarch or flour. And you're going to mix it in some water. Bring it to a boil, okay? You're going to mix it in some water. Now, I pull out the giblets and cut them up first, but my family doesn't like giblets, so I save it for myself. So, but the giblets add really good flavor. Or, not, yeah, giblet, uh, giblets. They're giblets. 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 How do you say giblets? Giblets. Giblets. I'd say giblets. It's giblets. Okay, so I'm going to take my giblets out here because my family is crazy and doesn't like them. I don't know why. There's nothing like a good liver to taste good. Okay. Yeah, it's giblets. It's not giblets. It's okay, giblets. giblets. So then I'm going to add my salt. According to Google. We're bringing it to a boil. Google okay. Right now. Bringing it to a boil here. And then if you want to make it giblet gravy, giblet gravy, however you want to say it gravy, you just cut up your giblets and put them in the gravy. And that's it. Um, and mixing the cornstarch in cold water keeps it from being lumpy, okay? So now, while that is coming to a boil, let me... Get going on the... <clears throat> you had other questions. Okay, let me do questions while I'm setting up. Go ahead. Uh, Jane is wondering if she could do peanut oil instead of butter. We don't know about that, do we? Yeah, you can. I mean, the butter adds a better flavor, but if you're allergic to, to dairy, you can. Lisa asks, is this particular brand of turkey pre-salted or did I miss you salting it? Mm -mm. It's not pre-salted. Okay. You use salted butter. That's where it comes in. Got it. You use the salted butter. <clears throat> um, Retro Rage, I've never seen a turkey so moist. Let's see, we yeah. talked about the... And I'm telling you, you have never eaten a turkey that is as moist as this. 
and it is just absolutely delicious. So Jody mm -hmm. asked, what's the quick defrost way? Did you tell them what you did? Yeah, quick defrost so way? the quick defrost way is you can put it in the sink and let it defrost, but what I did was I just ran hot water over the gravy packet because I didn't want the gravy packet and it was a plastic thing, plastic packet. I just ran hot water over the gravy packet. It was a little bit of pain. I had to kind of chisel the ice around the packet to get it out. I just threw the whole thing in the oven frozen. Put it at 350 for two hours to two and a half hours. And that got it. Huh, did you check through to the middle? Huh? Did you check through to the middle? Was it cooked in the middle? Uh-huh. Is it yeah, just, it was just as falling apart. usual? Yeah. Okay. You just ate it. Well, I ate a little bit of the outside, yeah. Well, what part are you planning on eating? <clears throat> I don't think you want me to answer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was uh, all cooked through. Becky, do you think the butcher would cut it into quarters for me? I know you say cut it Okay, so... They might. Ask your butcher if turkeys are really big. Ask them if they will cut them in half or quarters for you. Um, I don't know if they'll do quarters. I know they'll do halves. I asked my butcher this morning, and they said that they... Ah! Uh. I think you jinxed yourself, and you said you, you keep talking, and I hold it. Okay. This is just a YouTube moment, guys. Okay. <laughs> this would be a good time for... So then out. your gravy's done. Salt. The world needs more salt, people, right? Yes, because the world needs more salt, people! Okay, here we go. Oh, yum. It's pretty tasty, even. Okay, and tomorrow's video will be how to clean your stove top ceramic top when you spill. to the dinner rolls. The turkey is in our Dining on a Dime cookbook. These dinner rolls are going in our next cookbook, More Dining on a Dime, coming out hopefully early spring. We had a couple other questions. Okay, let's answer the questions. Uh, Karen wants to know if you'll be making stuffing recipes before Thanksgiving. Probably, yeah. And My family doesn't like stuffing, and so I never make it, but yeah, I'll probably make it for the show. Only Mike likes it. <laughs> um, Nancy says, my, man, my family likes the stuffing in the bird. Any idea how to get that great taste of in-bird stuffing if you don't cook yeah. it in the bird? Yeah. You'll see when I go to do my stuffing, but the trick is, it's not the bird that's doing it. <clears throat> well, it is, but it isn't. Just take some of the bird drippings from the turkey and dribble some in, in your stuffing and that's how it will work. So if you have dining on a dime right here, just use the stuffing recipe on page, um, on page 202, and that'll tell you how to do it. Okay, now. Any other questions? Um, oh, what was it? Somebody asked, well, Jody asked, does using a single-use roasting pan make a difference in taste? We use the same stainless steel one each year, but mm -hmm. I don't think it changes I, the taste. I haven't noticed any taste difference at all. I was wondering if she meant, like, if the pan was seasoned or whatever. Maybe, like, should... but I haven't, I haven't noticed any taste difference at all. Okay, these dinner roll recipes, this dinner roll recipe is going to be in our next book now this is a texas roadhouse roll copycat now i will say i would not make homemade rolls for thanksgiving but i know some people like to so if you do use this recipe it's on our living on a dime website okay and what you're going to do is you're going to take your yeast and you're going to put it in your warm water now i have more warm water than is in the recipe because i'm using dry milk can we zoom in so you can see the sure. yeast doing it 
just stir it into your thing. Now, I am adding my sugar to my yeast just because it helps it go quicker. Okay? Um, Can we do a show about that? Yes, we did a show about that. So, then you're going to sit here and you're going to let your yeast proof, okay? And that's where it gets little bubbles. And you can see it's already starting with a few bubbles right there. But I'm going to talk about yeast for just a minute. You can come back up while this is proofing. Oh, wait. Um, it's going to start foaming at the top. And that's how you know it's working. Now, I buy the yeast in the big packets because I buy a lot. But what I do is I store it in my freezer and refill. Where'd it go? refill my little yeast jar from the freezer then so i just get the great big one for like five bucks and then i refill that every time and it's the same price and i get like 10 jars versus one um <clears throat> secondly if it's not bubbling then your yeast has died or gotten old and you need to make sure you have fresh yeast so if you're cooking for a special occasion i would make sure you have fresh yeast okay when will the bread be done in just a little bit i know <clears throat> okay so then um what was the other thing i can't remember what i was going to say okay so while we're waiting for this to to prove for just a minute i was going to tell you guys something so dave's big announcement what? came out last week <laughs> after the show and we've had question after question so we can now talk about Dave's job that he got in the summer last year, this year, on our trip. This year on our trip. So. And I spent my entire trip working on it, and I didn't actually. He did spend his entire <laughs> trip working on this. But Dave got asked to help develop levels for a game that he has been playing for since he was two. His favorite, absolute favorite game in the world. He calls it his marble game. When he was little. When I was little, but I called it the bowling ball game he, and the marble yeah, game. Yeah, he called it the bowling ball game or the marble game when he was little. <clears throat> but Marble It Up Mayhem came out on Apple. It's on Apple Arcade. Arcade last week. I think it was Friday. Mm -hmm. So Dave's game is now out on Apple. We had a hard time keeping our big mouth shut because it's so stinking cool, Dave. Mm -hmm. You should come around and let everyone give you accolades and applause. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'll stay back. So Dave's game came out on Apple Arcade. It's called Marble It Up Mayhem. So if you guys have Apple Arcade or your kids have it, Dave helped do some of the levels. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. You should cool. play it. You should play it. All right, so then here's what's going to happen, guys. Let me show you right here. Let me zoom in. Too much for one man to handle to eat turkey and show cooking also. See how it's getting foamy right here? That is perfect and that's what you want, okay? Yeah. Now, if you're doing this with water, just add your milk. I'm just adding dry milk because I just need to use up my dry milk, so I'm using that for everything. So then you're gonna take your yeast water and your sugar and your milk and your melted butter and your salt because the world needs more salt people and your egg I'm trying to make sure I got all the ingredients and one cup of flour and you're gonna put it in the mixer whoops wrong thing you're gonna put it in and mix it turn the volume down day for two minutes now I'm not gonna go a full two minutes but I'm gonna get it mixed in so you can see what it looks like okay Okay, yeah. Do your first mixing for two minutes. This helps start up the kneading process so you don't have to knead your dough for so long, okay? So we are gonna mix it for two minutes. Let's just pretend like we did that. Then we're gonna add the next cup of flour. It is like 82 
freeze in here. I know. I'm Let's stand outside. Let's we'll stand outside and chill out. Oh, oh, oh. Jamie said the boil over happened when you were talking about the butcher cutting turkey and you never finished the story. Did I talk about what? About the butcher cutting turkey. Oh, 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 the butcher doing... Oh, yeah, you okay. You can finish this first. So let me finish this first and then I'll finish the butcher, butcher story. Yeah, sorry. Although Sierra wants to know where your computer applause and everything are. Because you're talking about the accolades today. <laughs> So, just in the just for time, let's just pretend like I just did that for two minutes and then another minute. Then we're gonna add just a little bit more flour. All right, yes, thank you guys for giving Dave's a thumbs up. He is doing really hard. That is pretty cool that his first job is developing games for Apple. I mean, my goodness, how much more cool can you get? But Dave is just like that. He's just a cool dude. Right, Dave? Ugh. Okay, now you're going to stir in more dough like so, more flour into your dough like so. Then you're going to get your hands in and you're just going to get down and get dirty and you're going to add a little bit of flour and you're going to knead it by hand. Now, don't put too much flour in because you want this to be a sticky dough. Okay, now let's get a little bit more. And I just knead in the bowl so that I don't dirty the counter. Okay, there you go. Just get the dough, or the flour in the dough. And we're kneading like so. Okay. Then you're just going to go a little bit more flour until your dough is still slightly sticky but more firm. Yes. Does Nancy know that you love her hat? No, Jack, what, Dave, why don't you show Nancy how much Jack loves her hat? Oh. <laughs> yes. He has not had, show her. He's been wearing that day and Turn night. Turn around. He's been wearing it day and night. Thank Ever you, Nancy. He, he absolutely loves it. He really it. loves it. Dave's been wearing his. I've been wearing, I've been wearing the socks. Time. We've all been enjoying our nifty gifties. Thank you so much, Nancy. We appreciate it. Okay. So then you're going to get it going like so until it's pretty smooth, but still a little slightly on the sticky side. Okay. Now, there we go. Okay. So now we're going to take, and I leave it in the bowl and I'm going to spray cooking spray on top, flip it over, spray cooking spray on bottom. Then I'm going to cover it with a towel and I put it in my oven to let it rise. I turn my oven to about 100 degrees. You can come back to me. Right. About 100 degrees. I Or if you don't have a temperature thing on your oven, just turn it to um, 350 for like two minutes and then turn it off. Then your oven is slightly warm and it helps your yeast proof faster, okay? So then what you're going to do is it's gonna look like this, okay? And it's gonna double in size. Now this is a half batch, so it filled the bowl, okay? Just so you guys got it. Spray your pan, and then you're gonna push it down. Give See how you push it down? Thump it. Zoom okay? in. Okay, yep. That. Then you're just gonna take and form little balls just like that. Oh, were these okay. are really good. These are the really good really ones. Good ones. Okay. Like that. So that then you're going to fill your pans and you're going to let them rise again. And mm -hmm. then you're going to put them in the oven. Can you see that? It's just a little bit better, yeah. Okay. So now. Here we come up and zoom out. Okay. Now we're going to put them in the oven and let them bake while we finish the show. Um, and take your questions. And that's how easy peasy that is. Yeah. So anyway, okay. Any questions, my dearest? Oh, uh, I am looking for 
and there's a lot of comments. I'm not seeing as many questions. Although, Jamie was wondering if you would finish the story about the cutting the oh, turkey. Oh, the, the cutting the turkey with the butcher. Okay, so, and then I have the planner proofs, guys. I'm going to show you the planner here. So if you guys are interested in planner, stay with me. Um, so the butcher, my butcher does not have a hacksaw. He said that he would be happy to do it, but they don't have a hacksaw. So if your butcher has a hacksaw, they will probably cut your turkey in half, and then it's like a really super cheap big chicken. Wait, a hacksaw? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's the, he just said a hacksaw. Why would you use. have a hacksaw? <laughs> and, okay. Um, it's what they do to cut meat bones. And so ask your butcher if they will cut up turkeys. Some of them do and some of them don't. I guess it just depends on if they have the equipment or not. All right, any other comments while I'm getting my hands? Cindy says you're very organized tonight. I am? Yep. Uh, oh. Sierra is asking, would this bake the same in a loaf pan if I want to be lazy? Yeah. I would do two loaf pans and it would just be two loaves of bread. It will take longer to cook. But I will tell you, I learned this little trick on, where'd it go? Uh, I learned this little trick. If you have one of these thermometers that you can stick in meat, if you stick it in your bread, when your bread is 190 to 200, it is done on the inside. That's how you know and you don't get soggy bread on the inside. I thought that was a brilliant tip that I had never known about. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Marla is asking, can you make them ahead and freeze them in the pan? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And I would just not let them raise. I would just freeze them just at this stage. Freeze them right now. Then take them out and let them sit like 20 minutes. Let them rise and then put them in the oven. And Donna says put butter on the top to brown? Yes, if you want to. All right. So wait, we have some other things. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Um... Analia says, we've been eating at home more since I started watching your shows. <gasps> Yay! Yay! And Lizette says, Check your out shows our dining have, dining have gotten me to be more creative in the kitchen, saving money to pay off bills by not eating out. Love you guys. Yay! Yay! And guess what, guys? That's a big part of our mission yes. is try to help everybody. To get out of, get debt, out of debt and grow rich. Because the truth is, it's so freeing to be it is. out of debt. We have been out of completely 100%, including our house, since April, and it has been a beautiful experience for us. For those of you who don't know, we went to Europe for two and a half months to celebrate because we had the cash and we could pay for it. It was great. Because we didn't so, have a house payment anymore. But um, to celebrate, no, we have an announcement. Are you ready for links? Uh, oh, which Mike got our pup. First podcast up yesterday night at what? 10 o'clock at night. The poor guy was working on it till 10 o'clock. Can I you guys... It today, okay, though. guys, give Mike a little thumbs up. Okay, wait for it to come. Watch. Wait, wait, give, wait. Him a th give him a thumbs up or a little hand clapping thing or hearts or something. He was up till 10 o'clock last night working on our first podcast. And then I got see, up this morning and he was still working on it. Aw, thank you. And then he was still had to work on it this morning, but... Our first podcast is up. Who have we been approved so far? Spotify? We're on Spotify and we're on, what's the one that? Stitch. Stitcher and... We're waiting on Apple. Tune in says uh, that we're approved, but it might be a couple hours before it goes on. We're waiting on Apple and Google and something else. Okay. So, some of the major ones we're already on. If... Apple just takes a little longer. Yeah. And then Google just waits to see if some of the other places listed and then they list it. So... Yeah. We will so, be on there for our sure. first podcast with mom and me to celebrate, we put our How to Save Money on Groceries e-course on sale for half price. It's only, what, 12 bucks? Uh, it's 12 50 12 Sorry. 50 Guys, that is a really good deal. <laughs> that is a really, really good deal. This e-course Our regular was, price is already under... Yeah, under our, our regular price is already underpriced. We, as a matter of fact, we've been talking about we were going to raise the price and we just haven't gotten around to it. But to celebrate, we put it at $12.50 for you guys. So anybody who needs it, I guarantee you will save hundreds of dollars on your grocery bill. You will. Every person does. 
my assistant Heidi, it is one of her favorites of all of our ebooks and everything. I think next to dining, the How to Save Money on Groceries e-course is her favorite. She absolutely loves it. So go check it out. Mike's putting a link in there. For which thing? For the How to Save on Groceries e-course. Oh, uh, oh, I don't have that in the candy. Okay, I'll go get it. Um, yes, and on the podcast, there is one that's been published, but we're going to try to do them twice a week, right? Yep. Tuesday oh. and Friday is what we're heading for. And we have 10 or 12 podcasts already pre-recorded that I did with my mom and my grandma, my mom's mom. Um, she talked to me, and so we are on there. Um, my grandfather, guys, right after the show, when mom had to leave on the show on Monday, I thought maybe something had happened to grandpa, which is why she was gone, but... It was not. It was good news. His oxygen was messed up, so he is doing much better. Thank you for those prayers. Also, they were giving him too much, right? They were giving him too much. Before I get to the planner, our longtime faithful viewer, Amy T, asked for <gasps> us to pray for Australia. Guys, I didn't know this was going on because, you know, we don't watch the news very much. I mean, I do, but not a lot. And she said that, like huge huge amounts of acreage like millions and millions of acres are on fire in australia hmm. so if you guys could please pray for amy t her safety and the people of australia the firefighters it's their spring and they are already worn out and she um was asking for prayers for australia guys if we could please pray for them also, for our friend Annika, we love Annika in Israel. If you hadn't heard the news, they bombed Syria and then Syria retaliated. And she said, You know, we've just been having bombs going off all over the place. The last update I had was like 12 hours ago. So I don't know what's been happening in the last 12 hours or so. But if you could please pray for Annika. She is a Holocaust survivor, and she is one tough cookie. She is so sweet. She has sent us care packages from Israel. She's just the sweetest lady ever. But we get notices when uh, there's an uh, airstrike where she is. Yeah. She. Uh, we get notices that say that uh, they're underground and that she's okay. Yep. So... so Anyway, but if you guys could keep those two things in, in your prayers, we would really appreciate it. Um, okay, so the planner. Wait, Guess what I have? So the yes, planner. yes, the podcast does have the same name, Living on a Dime to Grow Rich. Yep. It's, I've definitely confirmed it's on Spotify right now, but you can go to livingonadime.com and there's a link at the top that says podcasts. Yep. Or if you're on the mobile in the little regular menu, podcast is like the third or fourth one down. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, so to the planner, we got the proofs today, which is kind of funny because I printed it on. It smells good. I printed it on the proofs for our next, for our more Dining on a Dime cookbook coming next spring, which is kind of hilarious. I want these rolls. <laughs> well, the rolls are almost done. Yes. Who asked about it? Um, uh, somebody said something about uh, Ms. T. Yes, iHeartRadio is one of the ones that we applied for. Apparently, Apple and iHeartRadio are the two that take the longest to decide. So those are the the to two main ones. To decide if we're worthy. <laughs> yeah. If we're worthy. Um, okay, so I want to show you guys the planners just because we're getting close now. Okay, so we've got the two year, but here's the things that I am loving the most. So we are going to have a place for you to write your fa family's favorite menus. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Mike was disturbed that it started with winter, but you know it starts in January, so kind of got to do it that way. For your 10 favorite meals for each oh, season. I forgot to tell John. <laughs> I'm going to ask William about that later. Then we have a page each month for you to write your budget because you guys are living on a dime to grow rich and you need to know where your money is going. So if you don't know where your money is going, you need to write it down right there on your budget every month then we have a debt payoff page so you can see your debts going down every single month right there then 
we have for each month a side, oops, side by side. I don't know if this is right for the camera, but anyway, a side by side oh. calendar. Just to see if we can see both pages. Oh, sorry, yeah. too late now. Then we have two pages of notes for you guys because you guys said you wanted lots of room for notes. But here's my favorite part. Oh, where's the other one? Wait. Ah! We're missing a page. Like the most important page. Do we have stuffing on the website? Yes. Where? And the turkey thing. <gasps> ah! I'm missing the most important page. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, hold on. Then we have a cleaning list. So we have a weekly cleaning list here to list all of the chores for each room the chores that need to be done monthly, and then the chores that need to be done as needed, so you can check them off. Dude, These so you move over. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have the computer for a moment. Um, so you mentioned the turkey, I think you said the turkey juice on the stuffing. Uh -huh. The recipe, is that where it calls for, where is it you put the um, turkey juice You'd in? use it, it's the broth. It's ah. called the broth. The okay. turkey juice is the broth. So I forgot who asked, um, but, oh, Nancy. It, so it is in the book too. Yeah. Because uh, the the regular dining on dime cookbook is the one that has that recipe, and also it's in our thanks traditional Thanksgiving recipes. And I'm going to share the link after Tara's done here, but it's also in the description and on the front page of livingonadime.com right now. Okay. All right. So then let me show you the most coolest page of all, the to do page for every day. Hold on. I thought I had printed it. She's been so excited about I've this. I've been so excited. I'm like so excited because I will actually use this planner. And we have something funny about that. Okay, so this is big. But, so we're going to have remember, appointments. Then we're going to have dinner and your water. Stop it. No flirting with the, with with the help. The help. <laughs> Then we're gonna have your to-do with your top three. Everybody wanted their top three. And then we're gonna have daily cleaning and organize. And I put in there, guys, a daily check off for your chores. And then your notes down at the bottom. This thing is so stinking cool. I'm excited. Wait, so are you printing 365 of those? I am printing 500 in five by eight and eight and a half by 11. <laughs> We are putting them in a get it together people gift pack with an apron, a financial planner, uh, notepads for the magnetic notepad for the refrigerator for menu and shopping, a magnetic notepad for the refrigerator for to do for other family members or whatever. Um, a menus on a dime cookbook, or I mean, uh, a menus on a dime little book that goes with our cookbook. And then, did I say the apron? So we're gonna sell that pack in the five by eight, I think for $99. And then the eight and a half by 11, I think it's gonna be $115, $120. But the value is like $145. And then on the eight by five, the value is like $110. So we're doing about 20% off if you buy it in the gift pack. I would pay for the planner Here's the thing, for Monday is when we're hoping to have the aprons and the planners for sale. We're still working on the cover. And I hope by Monday to have the cover finished, which actually the mock-up looked really cute, which I loved. Uh, oh, my rolls aren't getting brown because of the turkey. Um, but the um, planners should go on sale on Monday. Here's the thing. We're thinking they're going to be ready to ship by December 1st, priority mail. So they will be there in time for Christmas. But once we sell the first 500, I can't guarantee we'll have them in time for Christmas. We will probably have them in time for January 1st, but I can't guarantee they'll be there for Christmas. So <clears throat> we're down to the wire now. Only I would decide to do a planner in November for January. <laughs> What's well, kind of like this, along with fifteen other well, things to like go with Tara it. Tara mentioned because of the podcast to put the grocery e course on sale, and like twenty five minutes before the show, she's like, oh, "We should put that on sale." And I was thinking, I need a little bit more notice than that. But that's how she rolls, right? <laughs> yeah. So the four 
poor printer had to bring in extra help to get this done because they're printing the planner, they're printing the note, the two notepads, they're printing the financial planner, they're printing the, um, let's see, there was, oh, and the aprons. And so they had to bring in extra help because, but they're like, well, yeah, sure, but we're going to really be going, going uh, at full speed here. Okay. These are not browning, so let me let them sit for just a minute and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, um, comments. So we're super excited. The aprons, we got the final designs on the aprons and the planners. This is the final and I'm super happy. Those look different than usual. Well, I didn't make them smooth because I was hurrying, but. They look awesome. I like them you rustic. Should, they're rustic rolls I like today. Rustic. <laughs> we're going with rustic, rustic today. Is awesome. Um, okay, so Nancy said, uh, stepped away, not sure if, if I, if it was answered or not, I don't think so. If I cook two small turkeys, should I change the temperature or the time? No. Do you put two in mm -hmm. together? Yeah. If they're small, like a big chicken. As long yeah. as there's airspace between them? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, I probably wouldn't. Holly says, love the get it together people header title. Yes. <laughs> Can they see that on there? Did yes. you show it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be our get it together people planner. <laughs> and gift set and it's going to be all red i'm super excited it's going to match our book well and your cleaning stuff this isn't modeled after <clears throat> anything anyone else it's just what you like because you're yeah so what we did was mom had a planner from the 70s that she really liked and it was really nice but me with my scattered fibromyalgia brain it wasn't quite enough <laughs> So we took the two together, or we took that, and then I took other like lists and planning lists, and I kind of morphed it into my own what I wanted. Because like I wanted to remember birthdays and holidays, but if I didn't have it on that page, I wouldn't remember. So now I can go through my planner and just write in everybody's birthday and remember. Yeah, but so. there's some things that are totally Tara all the way, like the your reminder for if you... To not forget the clothes in the dryer. Yes, or something like and then that. the cleaning list, like when Mike was having to do the laundry the other day by hand for school, <laughs> the cleaning list. Okay, I need to do the laundry, that type of thing. But you guys want to hear something funny? Okay, remember our conversation this morning? <laughs> Are you dealing with a troll? No, I'm okay. laughing at. Well, Jennifer, Jennifer says Mike has to remain in a constant state of readiness. Yes. <laughs> I should have been in the Marines. <laughs> I think our poor planners, they are, go to Copy Co. in Fort Collins, guys. They are the best. But I think I kind of overwhelmed them, like, a lot. <laughs> they were like, oh, yeah, sure, we can do it. But now that we're kind of in the middle of it, I'm like, oh, man, I hope I didn't do too much here. But here, remember a conversation in the bathroom this morning? So I told Mike, I said, Oh yes, yes, I yes. think I'm going to actually use this planner. you got to pay attention because you got to say your part. I think I'm going to actually use this planner. And well, he no, said... Well, I said, oh, you made this planner for you, didn't you? And I said, you of just, course. You just did this whole production just so that you could have an actual book version of it. And she said, of course. And I said, it's a good thing I didn't want a, like a really expensive car. <laughs> She'd be trying to reinvent the whole company. <laughs> so then we'd have our own car line. See, that's actually brilliant. I'm kind of thinking about that. That's brilliant. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, any comments, my my love? Uh, oh, Linda says, love your sweet mother. <laughs> uh, you, Jamie says you gave that company a great Christmas bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what time is the podcast on Tuesday? So, we do we have a specific time we're posting podcasts? Mm-mm. We don't yet have a specific time. We are planning to do two a week, and we have a, a, a backlog of ones that are already recorded mm -hmm. that we just need to edit and put on, so that should be pretty easy to keep on the two, twice a week schedule. I are take butter Tuesday, and put it on the top. Are we thinking Tuesday and Thursday, or what? I'm thinking Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday and Friday, okay. Uh, and for those of you who don't know how or don't want to do podcasts, we're going to be putting the same ones on YouTube on Tuesday and Friday also. <gasps> Jonathan is on, should I tell him? Florida sure. Singularity, Jonathan. So I I was proofreading it and I looked in it and it was Monday through Sunday on the calendar and I was like, oh, <laughs> so 
We have to change. I said, Jonathan says no Monday through Sunday calendar. So we changed it for you, Jonathan. So we changed it because we love you that much. <laughs> Actually, it drives me crazy that I, I think calendars should be Saturday to, or Sunday to Saturday too. <laughs> It was okay. I just told her I was gonna have to hassle you about that. Oh, and I forgot, guys, when you use a dark pan like this, turn your oven down 25 degrees. So, um, Jessica's asking, Will you be making stuffing in live? Yes, we are. Okay, I will make stuffing on Monday. <laughs> I was kind of iffy on the I stuffing. I love the stuffing because we don't eat it here. Hold on, this is for you. I'm just letting it cool. Problem is. Like, but, some things only Tara eats, and some things, like, stuffing, I'm the only one that eats it. You yeah. don't even eat it, do you? I hate sausage. I love it. I love the stuffing, but so, we hardly ever make it for that reason. Yeah, so. so I'll make it for Mike. Okay, I'll make it for you. Okay, Jack, here you go. Uh, Linda, wow. the podcast does not have video. So a podcast is like a radio show. Yeah. And, um, and, and the reason they call it a podcast is because in the old days when iPods first came out, uh, you could put it on an iPod and take it with you everywhere. So in the now, old days, in the old days, that's I say the old days. Well, my kids would appreciate the old days. In two thousand five, <laughs> in the old days, okay. um, but you can put it. You can listen to it on a computer. You can listen to it on a phone or whatever. And so it's easy for people to take, like to the gym or in the car or out uh, on a walk. What is your rating on a scale of one to one hundred? Mm. One to one hundred, to be precise. Yes. Hmm. Fifty-two. Well, you're still eating it. Zero. <laughs> Zero? I See, think he, this is opposite day. He was thinking that one was the highest. <laughs> you crazy guy. Do you want one, Dave? Just kidding. No. Uh, 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 you know. want one? Jessica says... I think says, 99.9. .9. Woo! It's not 100? You know what's funny, Michelle? I yeah. still have my iPod 2. I had one of those little ones that's about this big. Kind of little rectangular oh, ones. Oh, you need another one. With huh? a little screen, mm -hmm. and um, it it lasts forever. I've had it for probably fourteen years. <laughs> yeah. So it was the one thing I bought back in those days that cost more. Um, Ms. T says we don't put sausage. We don't put sausage in something. Yeah, some you people should, don't. Our, it's really good that way. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan says thank you, Mike. Lol. I was I was pleading your case, sir. Um, can you add this on Amazon, the planner? Probably not. Well, we'd not like, right now. We'd like to add it but... in the planner, but not in time for this year. Because yeah. we're trying to get Amazon figured out to get our other books on there. Because um, we used to do Amazon for our books, but it, it was kind of... It was of... costing us more than it was making us, so it wasn't worth it. But we but... think we can do it better now, but it uh, won't be in time for the hmm. planners. But... For this year. Oh, you want but more, huh? If, if the planners work out well and we do them again, we probably would have it in Amazon... And future. we are going to have it available as a download on our website for those of you who either live out of the country um, or um, if you have your own planner you want to put your own binder you want to put it in. We're going to have those. We are going to have it available as download. The prices. So the retail price is going to be $49 for the 8.5 by 11 and I think $35 for the 5 by 8 but... We're gonna have a pre-ordering sale of, I think, 20% off. I have to get my final tally on the price. But um, I think I'm gonna try and do 20% off for the first, and here's the thing, if you order in the first day, first three days, next Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, we are gonna throw in our Keeping It Clean ebook series how to clean and organize ebook series to help motivate you for the new year. Only if you order in the first three days, though. We're going to throw that in just because we love you. I think that's a, I can't remember, is that a $20 What's value, I think? In? The Keeping It Clean ebook series. Just oh, cool. I hope we can do that, actually. I didn't ask you that. Can we send them a download if they order a, a print product? Yes, I have to set it up. Kind of a specific way but yes as long as we do it ahead of time it's harder when you tell me after the product is already out <laughs> so yes so next monday tuesday and wednesday those are going to be the offers i think for the eight and a half by five for the gift set it's going to be around 99 to 109 dollars somewhere around there and then the eight and a half by 11 for the whole gift set okay but you can buy the planners by themselves also 
but there were a lot of people who were wanting a get it together people apron <laughs> and a financial planner and I thought well good grief why don't I just get it all done now and put it in a gift set so that's what I'm doing Kim, will you, hi guys, will you be on Podcast Addict? I actually use that app and um, we will have a little RSS link where you can click it and it adds it to there. It might actually work with the Spotify link. I didn't try it yet, um, but I will try it and we will mention it for sure on the next so show. So you can listen to your mother-in-law all the time. Well, I'm waiting for the episodes where I hear my lovely bride. Oh, oh. Look at this, guys. They've been out of the out of the oven, not even five minutes. Miss C is wondering if I'm the, telling you, these are the best. If the sausage and... stuffing is a southern recipe, I don't know. Um, probably. My grandpa's from the south. George and... X does the last two. And as Jill says, you don't have to put it in, but it sure does make it taste great. Um, <laughs> let's see. They're gone, and it's been five minutes. I'm not sure Michelle says need additional blank page for budget. I use one eight. So in there you have two budget pages, right? Or is it I have one? a budget page for every month. Mm. Yeah, I have a budget page for every month. Mm. And then next year, if there's mm. things that you guys like, we'll tweak, you know, if there's things that you want or whatever. But I've been doing tons of polls on <clears> Facebook <throat> trying to figure out what exactly you guys want also because it's not just for me. But what you guys want also, and then I was like, well, yeah, I could use that too. So. So earlier, Lisette said that she was saving money to pay off bills by not eating out. But then she said, I've paid off three credit cards. The next month, I will have paid off another one. Yes. Let's go, girl. Awesome. That's freeing up all kinds of extra money for you to use for other good things, and that's, job. that's great. Good job. Good job. Actually, it's funny because when you, uh, when yeah, you, you don't have to put sausage in your stuffing. It's funny you because when you don't have the minimum payment on each card, then there's more extra money available each month. Tanya, yeah. yes, the iPod I had was a nano, a little, a little, they had the tall skinny nanos and then the short stumpy, stumpy ones. And, and now mom one. goes for her walk and she can't have any music because she can't figure out any of these devices. And my phone has some special, makes me so mad. You can't just plug headphones. It is you. Operator it, error. It is the phone. Operator it's error. What operator. kind of it's dumb phone doesn't operator. allow? What kind of dumb phone does not allow you to plug the headphones in straight to the phone? That's what I want to know. Does your phone not do that? No, I have to does have this adapter that? thing that the kids keep losing. In. Mm. Mm. You just have to have an aux port? It's a USB 3, I think. Or so I can't go for my power walk and listen to anything inspiring. Well, maybe well, you should keep that we'll have to, thing. We'll have to plug it in for you before you go out. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's no more. You guys ate them all. Where, where did it all go? In your stomachs. The name of the game, Susan, is... Uh, Marble, Marble It Up, up mayhem. mayhem. Here, I'll grab a link of the... Dave, Dave will put share a link, link in there for you guys. It's Wait, on YouTube the, or Facebook? Put it on both. They're, they're asking on YouTube right now. Um, it's on the Apple, Apple Arcade. Arcade. It's one of the games in Apple Arcade. Our, dear, our son is on Apple. I know. This is like big. I know. He he's like, no, don't don't sell it, don't oversell it, don't sell it too much. And it's they cool. oversell Mom, it completely. If he had I'm his like, way, Mom wouldn't even mention it. <laughs> it's cool. He did a really good job on his levels. Uh, so, so one so it's one kit with five and a half inch planner and one with an eight. I'm and gonna half have planner. both. I'm gonna let you order whichever size you want on the gift sets. Okay, good. So. Um, and then if we go over the 500 of, the, of each size that I order at first, I will just order more, but they'll probably ship the last week of December in time for January, but they probably won't get there quite in time for Christmas. So, so, uh, oops. but the first thousand we should have to be able to ship or start shipping December 5th. Between December 5th and December 15th is when I hope to get them shipped. It just depends on how many orders we have. If we get slammed with orders, then the people who wait are ordered last. Theirs will come later, but I'll let you know. So, Oops, I didn't put half price in there. Um, I'm sharing a link for the grocery e-course that Tara talked about. It's half price right now. So Yeah, um, yeah and if you guys don't like sausage like me, you don't have to put it in your stuffing. I actually love unstuffing, unsausaged stuffing but mike loves sausage so maybe maybe i'll make it both ways i'll do it on monday 
I'll do it on Monday. I feel bad because that's kind of like grandma's recipe. So, well, I'm making all of other grandma's recipes, but it's just weird because it just <laughs> seems like grandma should be making it. Yes, Marianne says mama has bragging rights. True. And that's, that was you, pretty much what she was telling him. His so. first job is on Apple? That's like huge. Well, it's not directly with Apple. Well, it's directly on Apple. What? My books are on Amazon. They may not be directly, but... You're still there. So Cherry wants to know what, by the way, good to see you. Uh, what temperature is, are the dinner rolls again? I'm sharing the recipe 350, here. I think. I don't know. I just reshared the recipe. By on. the way, if you missed any shows recently, on the show notes page, if you go to livingonadime.com and click show notes in the menu, um, I have been leaving the kind of Thanksgiving related recipes as we've been making them the last few weeks. So yeah. there's a bunch of stuff there if you're, if you're looking for something like that. Uh, whoa, Jody wants to know which levels are yours. <laughs> Can you say that, do your levels have a name? They have names, but yeah, they're a they lot have of names, them. but I don't, I don't remember the names off the top of the You didn't name. name, you didn't name them. They Not named them. Not all of them, no. I named a few of them, but I don't remember. You don't remember? It was... We should get the list of You names. should make a level called Get It Together, People, and then everyone would know which one was your level. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can get our podcast at livingonadime.com. At the top, there's a little link that says podcast. We only have one on there because we just got it up last night, but it's on there. There'll be another one later this week. Yeah. Kathy says, considering getting the planner, but need the size of aprons, or is it just one size? The aprons are just going to be one size, about like this, approximately. Actually, the... Sample is coming tomorrow, and it does have pockets. The aprons are going to be $24, and I'm going to see, depending on the price again, this is going so fast, I haven't even gotten completely solid prices yet. I mean, pretty, really close, but I haven't gotten the final, you know, as I'm tweaking stuff, prices. And so... I think it's going to be $24. We're going to have a get it together people and two salt ones. I showed you the white apron with the get it, uh, with the world needs more salt, but it's actually the black one. So I was wrong on Monday. It's going to be the black apron with the world needs more salt and the blue apron with the retro salt. So <gasps> yeah. Yum. Oh, retro rage. I'm going to try a spinach mushroom stuffing. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mike loves spinach and mushrooms. Yep. Uh, have you tried the roll recipe with gluten free flour? I have not. I'm going to start testing some um, roll recipes and bread recipes for our new gluten free, dairy free cookbook. Guys, I'm not kidding. I've got like six cookbooks planned. I'm hoping to get four of them out next year. Mike didn't hear that. Four what? Cookbooks out next year. Okay, but you got to stop redirecting me to other things. <laughs> So yes, actually Mike is really excited about trying to get the uh, Dining 2 out. It's, oh, we're like this close. But we kind of keep going on little side trips and, and Mike's like, we gotta get this done. So yes. Um, hmm. Anne was wondering if we have an idea of the best way to handle money from a fundraiser for her son's medical condition. I have no idea. I don't, you mean you got money from it? I mean. I would just pay the bills with it. I don't know. I have no idea. I assume you just pay the bills with it, but it depends I, on yeah. if I guess depending on what where the fundraiser is, they might have some requirement that you yeah. document it somehow. Uh, Cherry, the temp to check a loaf of bread to make sure it's done in the middle and not still doughy is 190 to 200. Uh, Deborah, when do you announce on Monday how to buy? Wait, you said on Monday you're announcing how to buy the planner? Yes. Ah, okay. News to him. Are, I right? find out on the show just like the rest of you. And sometimes I, not even as soon because my brain is in the comments. <laughs> uh, we are working on, I started working on the sales page for them today. Was it tomorrow or Friday we're going to try and work on the sales pages? I don't know. Tomorrow or Friday we're going to try and work on the sales pages. But one other announcement, one other announcement. You can now buy... The goat milk cream and goat milk soap. Ellie has started up the shop. Goatmilkgifts.com. Goatmilkgifts.com. We have had people begging and begging and begging for the goat milk cream. 
and the soaps. I did not make the soaps myself. They come from another small batch soap maker. I have actually used their soap several times and I love their soap. It still has the great moisturizing qualities that mine had. Small batches. This is going to be more natural type soaps though. Not the fancy swirls that I did. Not the extremely fancy. But it is going to be a little bit less expensive. Um, she has her store opening today. Goat. What is it? Goats. Goat milk. milk. No, it's goat. It's goat, goat, goat milk, milk gifts. gifts. Goat milk gifts dot com. Goat milk gifts dot com. Is it is it up yet then? Is the site ready? It's up and ready. She authorized you to speak about it? She did. <laughs> and if sure? she didn't, mom did it anyway. <clears throat> and there are a couple of things that we can't get figured out on the tweaking, like in one spot at the end it says homemade soap baking supplies on the end where you check out somewhere, just ignore that. I don't know why it's not updating. I need to contact Shopify, but yeah. Uh, yes, Valerie, the roll recipe is in the book. What's it called in the book? Just dinner roll? No, no nine, this nine is not in dining. No, huh? This, this is recipe's not in, not in the book? Nah, this is in our next book coming up. Oh, is it on our... Is it's on, on our, our website. Is it on the Thanksgiving uh, post? Which post is it on? Oh, that's the best, the very best dinner yeah. rolls or whatever. So it's on the front page of our website right now, livingonadime.com, and it says like the very best homemade dinner rolls or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, actually, you could type Texas Roadhouse in because the word exists in the post somewhere mm -hmm. and it would come up with that too. Uh, don't forget to stick those uh, uh, rolls inside <laughs> the oven. You know? Don't forget to put these rolls in don't, the oven. Don't forget to put them in the oven, yeah. Dave thinks I shouldn't forget to put these in the oven, Dad. Oh, oh, those aren't the done ones. No, they're the ones that are rising. <laughs> we snarfed all the done ones already. Yeah. That one, they were really good. Uh, all right, I any last questions? all day, dude. Uh, Should we do a giveaway? See. Wait, don't say anything on the giveaway yet. Wait, guys. Wait a minute. Hold your horses. Let Mike make sure there's no last questions. Stop typing book in the comments box. Uh, nobody's doing <laughs> that yet. Um, well, I would just... Uh, so, the normal comments, there aren't any that I haven't seen, I don't think. Okay. Um, it's possible I might have missed something. By and for way, those of you who asked for Bibles on Monday, we are getting those shipped. We had uh, quite a few people ask for them, so um, I'm having my assistant get those shipped out to you. Uh, and if you would like one and you didn't hear us on Monday, you can go to editor at livingonadime.com or livingonadime.com in the contact and just tell us you would like a Bible and we will send you one free. Yes. So we've been sending people study Bibles who've been asking because they didn't understand the Bible. So we were like, well, we've got a Bible that is easy to understand. We will send it to you. Yay. I mean, it's not our Bible. <coughs> but we didn't, we didn't write it. I mean, like but I, it's it. a Bible that I know that I will send to you. So it's a Bible Mike and I will send else. to you. Uh, the recipe for goat milk soap is... Oh, wait. Goat milk soap? Goat milk... It's goat milk gifts. Goatmilkgifts.com. Goat we yep. just got the website today. <laughs> So we just got the website today, so we were like, yeah. Nice pictures on Ellie's website, Bonnie. Yeah, I love the little goat at the top. That's my particular favorite. Yeah. So, so all right, so you want to say what? All right, so if you would like a comment, if you would like a book, type in book, and we will do a giveaway for a classic Dining on a Dime. It's not the 20th anniversary. I have some classics left that we found in our last printing debacle. And so if so, you want to put that in there. Rosa says, I see, she, uh, you say you can't, you see a goat milk one, but not goat milk gifts. Okay, so if you just type in goatmilkgifts.com, then you'll go straight there. If yeah, you're I'm looking on that. Google, they may not have indexed it yet because we just turned on the website for her like two hours ago. Yeah. So it's brand, brand new. Um, and so if there's hiccups, please just email us, editor at Living on a Dime, or the contact page on there, which will go to my old email address yet but yeah we were like you know what it's almost christmas i know people are going to want this so we're getting it. <clears throat> okay All anybody right. want a book no nobody wants a book no nope, there's nobody okay we're done there's only 400 entries <laughs> on. okay okay let's start with youtube youtube are you ready dun, 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 okay dun, hold dun. on let's give them just a second more okay let's give them just a second more because what if they're delayed are you doing one on each or what Yes. Should I sing? A thrill of hope. 
the wind Mom, we're gonna get copyright cream. Rejoices for your Just got a notice from YouTube. <laughs> it's a it's a public domain. Is it? A new and glorious morning. I think it's oh, holy by night! Someone. Oh wait, I thought uh, was that an yeah. old song? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like four hundred years old. Yeah, but you might sound like <laughs> someone else's video, and then it will get fired. On your knees, is anybody entering? Oh, here I'm getting really tired. The angel's voice says. <gasps> You're right. 1847. All right. Okay. Is anybody Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to do Facebook first okay. then so they don't go, all scroll up the screen. Scroll, 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 scroll. Go back the other way. Now go back the other way. Uh, now go back the other way. Stop! Uh. E Where'd she go? It was Elizabeth Polk. Elizabeth Polk! Hi, Elizabeth. I was going to say, I thought it was Elizabeth. Elizabeth, email me, editor at livingonadime.com. So that was a spiral classic or a dime? Classic, yep. Editor at livingonadime.com. Tell me you want a classic. <clears throat> Tell me your name and your address, please. People are not telling me these things, and so, All yeah. Are right, you ready to do the YouTube one? Okay. You ready? Go. Scroll back the other way. Scroll back the other way. I'm already scrolling scroll back, back the other way. way. Stop. Uh, Victoria Alvarez. All right. Yay! Yay, Victoria! Email me, editor at livingonadime.com. Your name, your address, and that you want a classic. <clears throat> and I just have to say, Bethany and Hannah, right here, look what they sent me. Look what they made, <gasps> oh. this little card right there. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And then look what they put in there for me. Oh, that's look. great. Ah. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Let me actually. It's a little queen hat. What's a queen hat called? A crown. Oh. It's a crown. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little <laughs> crown. And they sent a nice thank you note for their book. Nice. I have to say, okay. I'm not saying everybody has to, to write me a handwritten thank you note by any means, but I have to say, <laughs> It was really nice actually getting a thank you note. I will say we send out like no less than four to six free books a week, about four to six free books a week. And I hardly ever get anybody who even emails a thank you. Hmm. I know. <coughs> so I think it's a lost art. So thank you. I appreciate your thank you thank card. Thank you very much. I said all she that. She was pretty excited when she saw it in the mailbox. It I'm not like, doing it for thank you guys. I'm just saying. I think it's a lost start, and I think that that was very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, so while we were doing the book drawing, I saw a somebody said I would like a Bible on Facebook, and it went off the screen. <laughs> but if you could send us a message at, at send us an email at editor at livingonadime.com. And if you can't remember the email, just go to livingonadime.com and click contact and go through yep. there. Uh, and let us know your name and your address. We'll send you one. Give your give us your mailing address so we can mail it to you. And also, Jill shared. I totally forgot, but we have a favorite Christian resources page on our website. If you're if you want to know, it talks about some pastors we like and Bible translations and stuff like that that we like. Uh, if you if you're not asking for us to send you one, you can look through there and see what ones there are. Um, and I'm trying to see if that one is, I was going to put it on the menu. I thought it was already on the menu. But uh, if you go to our show notes, it's in our show notes, I was gonna say, our favorite Christian resources. And it is on our mobile site, uh, menu as well, but I'm going to go add it on the desktop here after, right after the show. But it is. So if you want to know pastors that we like, that <clears throat> type of thing, that we listed those there. We probably could add some other stuff too, but yeah, it talks about some various Bible translations we could recommend. And other study resources that we like and some pastors that we like, stuff like that. Yes. It looks like it's got books from authors that Tara likes and some TV shows and stuff like that. Yep. So, <clears throat> so don't forget stuff. to check our grocery <clears throat> e-course is 50% off at $12.50 right now. How to save on groceries e-course. It's a digital download with videos and the e-books. It's a really good deal, guys. We've even got a cookbook in there for 224 easy recipes. Don't forget to check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. We have pre-orders for our new hardcover color 
copies coming in January. We saw the big stacks of piles at the printers and they are pretty cool. Yes. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check out our podcast, which is at the what? front page of our website now. We have our first one up. Go check it out, guys. Oh, I'll have to go check and it out. And I don't know what you're supposed <clears throat> to do for podcasts. I guess share or something. I don't know. But well, whatever you do for a podcast, do that. In the menu, it says podcast. You just click on there and it takes you to it. I... Uh, and then it's available at, I, on there. I'm going to check and see if it's been approved in any of the other places. But I, we oh. say in there who's approved it. I don't see it on and the page. It's on the menu on the upper right on the desktop version. All right, guys. Please like, oh. subscribe, and share. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. <clears throat> we are Mike and Tara from Living on a Dime to Grow Rich because you can grow rich. Yes. Also. Yes. Have a great night. Like Lizette who paid off three credit cards. You go, girl. Woo! All right. <laughs> See you on Monday. Bye.